Hi, my name is Maria Dadush, and I'm a children author. I'm thrilled to be a guest in the Children's Literature Festival hosted by Rutgers University Library International Youth Collection. My book, Luzul Kurazu Jajia, or The Mystery of the Glass, won the 2022 Children's Literature Prize of the Sheikh Zayed Book Award. It's one of the world's most prestigious and well-funded prizes, which recognizes authors, translators, scholars, and organizations um, from around the world engaged in Arabic literature and culture. Now allow me to tell you about my beautiful book, The Mystery of the Glass Bowl, explores the relationship between a grandpa and his grandchild, Ghassan, as they embark on a train journey to a museum in the Arabian desert. While on the journey, Ghassan accidentally overhears two men in disguise planning to poison the desert animals with a glass bowl. Sophia, another child on the train, also overhears the plan and agrees to help Ghassan stop it. Despite their initial differences, Ghassan and Sophia become good friends as they work together to protect the glass bowl and save the desert animals. The book also highlights the abundance of sunlight in Arabic countries. It also sheds light on the unique and rare animals in the Arabian desert, such as the Mahad deer, the Arabian buck, and the horned poisonous viper. And it raises awareness about their extinction. However, for me, the most prominent theme in this book is friendship. It demonstrates how people can form relationships with preconceived notions and stereotypes only to discover that they have more in common than they originally thought. The conflict that uh, the conflict between Ghassan and Sophia was initially fueled by their different backgrounds, but they overcome their differences to become loyal and brave friends who risk their lives to rescue each other. Now, I'm gonna read from the last chapter, maybe the last pages. Um, these, this scene takes place in a museum, the Levy Museum. Uh, the children were decorated for their efforts. And, okay. أمسكت بالمكبر بأصابع مرتجفة وقلت لدي ما أعترف به عندما كان جدي يكرر علي قصص الصحراء اليومية كنت أتمنى أن أكون في القطب الشمالي مع دبابة البيضاء سرت بحكات بين الحضور فسل الخيط قليلا أكملت لكن عندما كان يبدأ كلامه كنت أجد فيه سحرا غامضا دائما ما كان يستبقيني حتى آخر القصة وهذا السحر كان يكون في نظراته عيناه كانتا تلهمان كانتا كأنهما تنظران نحوي ولا تريان كان يشرد كأنه يشاهد فيديو لتفاصيل الصحراء التي مر بها خلال يومه ذاكرته كأنها تعيد عرض مشاهد الصحراء الجميلة أمام عينيه فيعيشها من جديد كانت الصحراء هي عالمه الحقيقي الوحيد كنت أستشعر فرحته كلما وضعت, وضعت المها مولودا جديدا وأحس بقلقه عندما يعثر على أثار أقدام متطفلة لن أنسى الحماسة التي اشتعلت داخله يوم عمل قطار السياح أول يوم وفخره عندما رآني عندما أراني صورا اتقطها بكاميرته التي لا تفارق عنقه لفجر صحرائنا الملون المذهل أو لسماء الليل الصافية المليئة بالنجوم كيف أنسى يوم قاد درجته الرباعية ثمان ساعات متواصلة كي يوصل دواء مهم إلى مجموعة من البدو كانوا قد حلوا مكان حراسته. That was an excerpt. I hope I hope you enjoyed it. I'm deeply grateful to have received the Sheikh Zayed Book Award. This recognition is a testament to the hard work and dedication that went into creating this book, and I'm humbled by the recognition. This award inspires me to continue creating meaningful and impactful works, and I'm excited for what the future holds. 
Thank you, Rutgers University Library, and thank you all.